Good morning. All right. Notice anything new? I got a haircut. I haven't had short hair since. Do you see that? Okay, New Year is coming up and I thought before we do resolutions and stuff like that, that I could reflect on the last three years because I feel like the last three years for me have changed my life. I'm the type of person who honestly tends to hold on to the past way more than I should. There was a trend on TikTok where you would um, write down your feelings on a plate and then like smash it. I'll put a clip right there. I wanted to do something like that, but instead I'm gonna do it on a paper plate and we're gonna burn it. We're gonna burn away all the bad memories. I'm just gonna sort of reflect and share with you. Of course, I will keep some stuff private um, just because maybe I'm not ready to share some things on the internet and also some things may involve other people and just so, just for privacy reasons. So, yeah. We're going to start with 2022. 2020, what happened in 2020? I'm just going to write down like little bullet points of like key things and big things that happened during these years um, and then I'll talk about them. Okay, I have a couple things now. 2020 was my senior year of high school and they were just having a party back there. I'm kinda jealous. 2020, I was a senior in 2020, so of course I lost my senior year and I'm definitely like over that by now. I think I was over it after my sort of virtual graduation. That was closure for me. But I think something about it still like affected me like not having those like last couple months of my senior year to prepare for college it really threw me off um yeah I think that was just the beginning of just kind of like getting thrown off and like not knowing what to do with myself I put quarantine quarantine for me I did not handle it well let me explain something I've always had anxiety, but it never like, it wasn't like so bad to the point where like I couldn't function because I was just like living life, you know, like I had to go to school. I was really involved in theater and stuff. And yeah, you would just like do everyday things that maybe I wasn't like so excited about doing, but like you just did them like going to the store, going to a restaurant. But I always wanted to like sort of isolate myself in a way. Like I remember in middle school, like begging my mom to homeschool me because I didn't want to go out and go to school. And it wasn't because like I was getting bullied or I had no friends. I had a great group of friends in middle school, but it was just like, I always desired like just like getting to like stay at home and um yeah I don't know when quarantine rolled around and we had to stay in our homes like it really screwed me up in a way I was finally in that box that I always wanted to be in and it was not healthy at all because I was finally in that space I always wanted to be in like being isolated from the world basically not having to go out in public not having to go to restaurants not having to interact with strangers um it screwed me up big time because i became because i became way too comfortable with that that it was so hard for me to go back to the normal yeah i just didn't even realize how bad my anxiety could get 
my anxiety increased so much when it came to like public interaction going out in public um that I couldn't even like function anymore I was really stopping myself from going out and doing anything stopping myself from going out and hanging out with other people because I wasn't doing anything and I was just sort of still like quarantining myself basically it slowly started turning into depression because I wasn't doing anything like fun anything I really enjoyed so yeah that's basically 2020 that looks wonky anyways okay 2021 yes you guys need something They're just making their way over here. All right, they're coming closer. It's kind of freaking me out a little. Yeah, you're freaking me out a little. Can y'all go away? Look at this. They're slowly creeping up on me. Go away, please don't attack me. Thank you. You gotta see this, hold on. I love when ducks like swim in a little line like that. It's so cute. Okay, anyways. 2021. They're coming back over here. Okay, 2020. <laughs> 2021. I love when they flap their wings like that. They go. That could be like a dick. Okay, I'm gonna stop myself right there. So I started going to therapy consistently to help with my anxiety. Because that's how I felt in my head, constantly. Overthinking everything. So I was going into 2021 with a lot of anxiety and started a new job. It was self-employment and I was delivering food and I thought it would be great. I thought it was like a great little like in between job like I would be out in pl public a little bit but also not really dealing with customers a lot so I was like this is perfect this is gonna work out great for me at least that's what I thought but it made me extremely anxious like going out and like having to like get food and then like if there were any issues like having to deal with the customers and it was just like really difficult for me because I was struggling Lot with my social anxiety the thing is with self-employment is you schedule your own hours and you work whenever you want to work and that really doesn't work with someone who is struggling with motivation i was lying to my mom about how much i was working which is just something that i still like to this day like i feel like sick when i think about it because like I just hate that I did that, you know? I just felt like I was like really like slowly losing myself and um, I don't know. I was just becoming so like cut off from everyone and my depression just grew and grew and grew until I hit just like a very low point, sort of towards the end of 2021. Um, yeah, and that's all I really want to share about that, but I hit rock bottom. Now I need space on 2022. So 2022 rolls around and I am peak depression. One thing to note is that this whole time, like I was going through like all this mental stuff, I wasn't sharing it at all with like family, but I finally shared with them in 2022 what's been going on with me and I feel like that was the start of like something like new finally um just having people like aware of how I was doing mentally and like opening up a little really really helped um because it's so much better knowing you're not alone and you have people there to support you and 
yeah so then this was supposed to be the year about like working on myself but for some reason like I couldn't I was still like stuck and just like super depressed and super anxious and thankfully I had a mother who really just wanted me to prioritize my mental health because you know a lot of people don't get that and I am like really really lucky to have a mom who sort of just like let me figure out myself before like putting myself back out there which is what I think I needed so through like half of 2020 I was just like up and down with my depression and it was just super hard and I think I finally figured out that I wasn't really like prioritizing myself like I should be and so I did have to make the difficult decision to end the relationship I was in but I feel like that really was like a breakthrough point for me. What I figured out is no like I need to prioritize myself and learn how to love myself first before I can love anyone else and I know like that's like really cheesy and people say that all the time but it's true that was a really like big decision for myself and something where I was finally able to like voice like my feelings and my opinion and I think that was like a huge like turning point in my life you know I'm still learning a lot about myself today but like what I've learned is like I am a completely different person than I was in high school and I needed room to like explore that like by myself you know anyways I feel like honestly towards the end of 2022 it's been nothing like but positive for me I feel like I'm finally like sort of like finding myself again and um finally finding a way to function um, and not let my anxiety define me basically. I feel like a lot of this stuff I hold on to but you know we're entering a new year and it's time to just move on from these last couple years and move forward. So we're gonna burn this. Let's do it. Alright, peace out losers. I need to come out here more. I don't take advantage of this spot as much as I should, but it's so beautiful. I love it. Hello, I am back hours later. I'm excited. This is the, this is the fun part, you know, I'm burning away all the bad memories and finally letting go. Okay, let's see if I could get this going. I would struggle. There we go. This is fun. This is a great time. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. This is beautiful. All right, that was fun. <laughs> and now it is time to move on from all that stuff that happened in the past and move forward. All right. 2023 is gonna be my year, actually. I know it is, I can feel it. It's gonna be a good year. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you next Tuesday with another video.